We are always being told we are running out of time, that we only have so much time, only have so many chapters in our life. We distract ourselves from thinking about how much time we really have, whether it's going out every night, buying too many shoes, working till 11.30 p.m. every weekday, or isolating yourself in your room until you can't feel anything. You can never escape the fear of running out of time. Constantly I'm asking God how much time I have. Show me how much time I have so I know what I should and shouldn't do with all my time. Show me what I should do with all this time or show me what I should do with this little time. I used to go insane thinking about how much time I had. And I used to think that every year at 12 o'clock a.m. on January 1st was a fresh start. A new chapter. A new chapter where I can get everything together. But every year I would put it off. January 1st would come again, and I'd start doing everything I said I would do, but only for a week. I never stuck with it. Waking up early began to be hard, working out was a drag, saving money was impossible. Then, something switched. I realized it was never about time. It was never about waiting a whole year to start new. It's been me. Me thinking that a new chapter means everything changes. But it doesn't have to be that way. A new chapter can be you waking up in the morning and getting out of bed. It can be you doing something kind for someone you don't even know. It can be finishing that book you forgot about six months ago. A new chapter doesn't have to be something big. It can be the smallest task in the world. So instead of worrying about how much time you have, until the clock hits 12 o'clock a.m. on January 1st, or the time until your death, start your chapter today. Don't worry about how small that chapter is. Don't think about how little progress you have made in the past. Focus on now. Because that is the time that we are guaranteed. The past is gone, and the future is unknown. So be in the now.